So in the last video, we configured Python to run in Visual Studio Code. In this video, we're going to review some extra options that you can use with Python in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so one of the things you can do, if you notice down here on the bottom left, you can pick the version of Python that you want to execute your code against. So go ahead and click this, and you can see up here it will detect all of the installed versions you have. And I previously had 3.7.1 on here. And you can see currently the default is 3.8. But let's go ahead and select 3.7, and you will see down here we're prompted to install Linter. Now, if you will remember, in the last video we actually installed Linter for 3.8.1. So we're not going to go ahead and do this again. We're just going to go ahead and close this out. But let's go ahead and execute this and you can see our code worked, we got a 10. Now let's go ahead and switch back to 3.8 and you can see how easy this is. Let's go ahead and run it again and we got the same result. And that's exactly what you might want to do when you're coding a Python program. Perhaps it's not operating exactly like you want, so you might wanna go back and check the previous version and see if it operates differently. So that's one of the main benefits and you can see just how easy it is to switch between versions. Okay, so we just talked about Linter and we're gonna talk about it again. So one of the things you can do to access pretty much any setting or anything that you want to very quickly in Visual Studio Code is you can use the command palette. And the shortcut, as you can see here, is Control-Shift-P. So let's go ahead and select that and then let's type in Linter. And you can see it's right here. Now, one of the things you can do is you can disable it, but let's not do that for now. But again, you can use this command palette to find all sorts of settings and other installed software that you have. Okay, so let's go back and basically what Linter does is it gives you this nice IntelliSense if you have a syntax error. And let's create a fake syntax error. And you'll see here that we're gonna to try to print this out and we made a clear mistake, we didn't put any parentheses. And so if we highlight over that, you can see here it pretty much tells you what the problem is. Sometimes you can get additional information by hitting peak problem and it kind of says the same thing. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now let's go ahead and disable Linter. And we'll go ahead and disable it. And now take a look, we no longer get that IntelliSense. Now it's possible you don't need Linter. There actually are some developers that know the compiler so well, they don't need to fix errors using IntelliSense. They can just literally start writing code and rarely uh, do they have problems. Those type of developers are what I call hardcore developers and they understand the compiler so well that they don't even need this type of help. Well, I'm not in that boat, I never have been. I can't remember all the syntax. So that's why I keep Linter on by default. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. And we'll just re-enable it, turn it back on, and there you can see we've got it back. So let's go ahead and correct this. Now let's go ahead and run this a few times, and you can see here we've got all of this output. Now you can actually type in commands down in the terminal, and one of my favorites is to simply clear all the messages, and that will clear the screen. So that's kind of a nice little command you might want to know. Now the final tidbit that you might want to know about are formatters. Now there's a couple ways you can access those. First is we can go back to the command palette and we can type in format and you can see here we get format document. We're actually gonna do this another way. You can actually go to the Python script itself, right click, and then you can go ahead and hit format document. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna throw an error saying, wait a minute, you don't have a formatter installed. You can pick any three of these. I'm gonna go ahead and take use black, but again, these are all pretty much the same. So you just go ahead and select that and then it will do its install. And then let's go ahead and close this out. Now let's make an obvious spacing problem here. Let's create a bunch of space here. Now let's go ahead and try format again and take a look at that, it fixed it. Okay, as always, thanks for watching.